so mm-hmm. the show begins in a new direction, um, and you soon find another home in G status. Talk about how you became a part of G status and what those early experiences were like with that new web reality show. I auditioned like any other person. Um, they did not want to cast me. They did not want to cast me at all. Why? Um, because um, my previous background with chasing mm-hmm. and how I previously acted. Oh wow! On camera, so they did not want to cast me. Uh, it took KL because it was KL and Ja. Mm-hmm. It took KL to tell Ja like, "Bitch, no, we want him. Mm-hmm. We want. We gonna have him." Oh, y'all can still hear us. The fucking car outside. Can they still hear us? Oh, perfect. They stop. Well, let's see what they what they, what they talking about. Oh, it's all love. It's okay. all love. Mm-hmm. They enjoy themselves, Anna. You got almost 400 people in here watching. Oh, like, yes, yes. Turn up. Turn up. Um, so, G Thaddeus, they did not want to cast me. They felt like I was a liability. Let's just say that. Okay. That part. They felt like I was a liability. Um, but eventually they casted me. Um, that whole experience, it was, it was fun. I really had a good time with G Status because I, already did what i had to do with chasing Mm -hmm. i already knew the formula i already knew what people were trying to get and i walked in with not knowing nobody except for a king Mm -hmm. i know so i just felt like you know bitch I ain't gonna have no problem this season. I'm come to showcase my art, which I did. I had my uh food chasing on chasing G status. So my chasing Lord. I had my food chasing on G status ATL Hustle season two. Um, I did a photo shoot on there. Uh, we did our twerk class on there. It was it was really fun. G status mm-hmm. was a really fun experience, and I feel like it was that because I didn't really know nobody and things like that. But um, it did highlight. The situation that I was trying to remove myself from chasing that came on a G status mm-hmm. when it comes to Dewan messing around. And um I could have walked away, but I was just like, from, you know, yeah, from, from the show. Okay. I could have walked away from the show like I did in season three, but I was just like, you know, no, let's just go ahead and play it out and let's go ahead and see what it do. Mm-hmm. You know, and Unfortunately, you guys, it is true. Dewan and Shara did have something in the past while we were together. And now I can, I can, you know, be okay with it. You mm-hmm. know, it is what it is. It happened, it happened. Um, but at that moment in time, being young, not wanting to be humiliated on camera, trying to hide my feelings, don't want the world to see me as, you know, this dumb bitch. He falling behind his man and doing them wrong. Like I said, it takes two to tangle. I had not had my share in the past and things like that, but it was never brought up on camera when it came to me mm-hmm. or him. But that's what it was. And but I had a good time. I had yeah. a good time with G Status. What caused G Status towards the end? I believe it's y'all season, season two, where it kind of like derailed mm-hmm. and the, the reunion didn't come out and episodes are coming out late. What do you know about that situation from your for your standpoint? Um, whatever, whatever you feel comfortable saying. No, I'm gonna tell it all. <laughs> Bitch, I don't know motherfucking contract. Bitch, I can tell what I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna go work them girls some more. I know that's right. <laughs> G said it was. Let me go. G said it was amazing. Okay, it was amazing. Not amazing. It was amazing. You know, they showcased my talent and everything. That's when I just started doing music mm-hmm. and everything. So they did showcase all of that, and I loved it. Um, So it was like a, a bunch of mix. You got the drama, but you got talent at the same time. So it mixed very well when it came to me. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly what I wanted to showcase. Like, bitch, yeah, I may be crazy. I may be doing all this, but bitch, I'm talented as fuck. So just get into my talent. But G started at that end. Um of the reunion, it did a lot did happen. We were supposed to get paid. When I signed the contract, I signed that contract in the beginning of the and they said that we will um get paid. We don't know how much money we'll get paid, but everyone is gonna get paid. And then the the, the person who is like the fans favorite or what have you will get paid the most. I already knew I I had that in the bag. You get what I'm saying? It's season two. Y'all still got y'all first season on there. That's why I came in and did what I needed to do. They felt like, Devon, you was doing too much at the Hibachi Grill. No, bitch, I'm going to give you hoes just enough. 
<laughs> and I'm finna stand on it. And so, you know, that's what I was doing. I was, I learned the process mm -hmm. of the reality business and made a show out of it. That's why I was like, okay, I didn't mind me staying to the end when it came to the whole Dewan and Sherrod. Because you wanted, because that money was go, was gonna be cute, I, right? Because that money was gonna be cute, but that was lies. We got to the reunion. How much? How much was y'all supposed to get? It was like five thousand dollars each. No, the the highest, most the envy the the MVP the MVP player of that season was the most they would uh -huh. get about five thousand dollars. Everybody else was gonna probably drop down to about like two one. That's a lot of money. Yeah, and the thing, the thing coming from Chase Reality, where we weren't getting paid enough, something was something. You get were were you getting paid on Chase in Atlanta? Oh, of course not. Oh, when well, you said not paid enough, I, I, I thought that. Meant... Like, yeah, we won't get paid nothing, and y'all won't get paid none either. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't get paid nothing from the show. We're gonna be, we're gonna keep... But, 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 and it's same breath of me saying that. Now, as a cast member, because I want to give credit, as a cast member, no, I never got paid on the show. However, it did help with your book. Oh, bitch, I made, oh, bitch, I made, oh, bitch, I made, oh, bitch, I made tens of thousands of dollars on exactly. me on Chase in Atlanta. Like exactly. tens of thousands of dollars. But also, too, like if I wanted to do something like for the cast or like for like Chasing the Beat, and yeah. Dario did go half on me with that. And there were things like if I wanted to do something on a cast level, not all the time, but a lot of the times it was like a big bill and Dario would go, um, would give me money for it. Because, okay. because girl, historically, I've always put on multiple cast events throughout the season. And he was like, girl, you know, da da da, let me do this. And I did go to him about chasing the beat. He did give me, he gave me his money and he, he paid it. And I will also say, too, with me having my spinoff shows on Chasing Reality, them contracts be real cute with Dario and she ain't. And she don't make it difficult, I, so I would give her that. That's you know, close. I would Shout give her that. Dario. Shout out to Dario. I'm like, girl, just give me this. Just whatever. And she's like, girl, okay, sign right here. She'll send me Dr. Sign, you know, we your business. You That's know what I'm saying? Chasing true. the beat next week, Tuesday. Um, only on Chasing wow. the Reality. At that, but at that moment in time, we were young. I said we're chasing Atlanta, so we weren't expecting money because we didn't think that this platform will grow mm -hmm. and be as big as it is. So me coming on to G status, I'm like, oh, y'all gonna pay me because they did put in print that we will be getting paid. What the money? I'm still waiting on it. What they say happened to it? It got to the point where. Um, cause Ja ended up leaving. It was Ja and KL, Ja and KL, the two producers. But KL was really never there, so it was really Ja that was doing everything, you know, producing, editing, all of this. And um, I think that he got it got too much for him, and he wanted to check out. And when he checked out, he took everything with him. He took everything with him, mind you. I was already in the process of moving back to Florida in this time. I done shot my eggs and seen me get on a plane and this and this and that and things like that. So I did all, everything. I signed my contract. I did everything that the contract has told me to do. Reunion, blase, squase, all of that. Blase, squase, that's so Florida. <laughs> All all this I did all of that. So when I, so when it was time for me to um Ooh, bitch. so here we are, what was uh I mean I'm already in Miami, Florida. Mm -hmm. And KL reached out to me and was just like, Oh, you know, Ja is nowhere need to be found and things like that. And I didn't really take it as um, uh, oh, he's lost. I really took it as like, okay, something must be going on. You know, mm -hmm. um, so it was like me, myself, and other um cast members. We were reaching out to Jai. We wouldn't get no phone call back, no nothing. We just wanted to make sure that he was okay. Mm -hmm. Bitch, fuck the show. I want to make sure that you're okay at the end of the day. Um, but it was nothing. I I, I felt like it was probably like five months of nothing. Jai didn't say nothing. We couldn't reach him or anything. So I was really rooting for KL, and I told KL, you know what? Go ahead, put 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 the show out. You know, when bitches was sitting up here coming for him and saying this and this and that, I was one of those team players that was behind your back saying, put it out. Put it out. Do what you need to do. And it came out and it is what it is. I don't fuck with them girls over there no more.
And that's on that's on some real nigga shit. I just don't fuck with them girls. I mean, he got upset, KL. And I had the most respect for KL because it was so much stuff going on where these people were sitting up here putting throwing him under the bus. Oh, you can't finish shows and this and that. And I was one of your ride or die hard people that had your back. And say, bitch, fuck what these hoes are saying. Just put the show out. Do what you need to do. And for him to sit up there and try to come for me. Because I walked away because I didn't want to be a part of this um, G status house of hawks or whatever it is, it is. No. And I told him that. I said, I don't want to be a part of that. I'm just going to eliminate myself. I'm not going to go back and forth with you girls. And I'm going to say that I'm just going to walk away because you are the only producer of all of these reality gay, gay shows that are out to be on live going back and forth with your cast members and everything. I don't want to be a part of that. And you got the fuck. Decline, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Decline. Bi and, mm -hmm. Bitch, I heard it from Devon here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I tried to get you back on the show. Mm -hmm. I came to you about an idea that we was working on. Talk about that a little bit. Um, I was excited to do it. I really was. At, I, the, at the time, I told you, it, it, it was what? The show was... Um. I think you were directing it and things like that. We were going, was it Cancun? Mm -hmm. You guys were going to Cancun. So I was like, I was excited for it. Um, so I did say yes, but then you came back and told me who all was going to be a part of it. <laughs> and I respectfully declined. At, at, what, at what point did you decline when I said who was coming? <laughs> when you said Gardini was going to be there. <laughs> you was like, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. I just feel like, um, listen, I'm all about energy. And I'm all about respect. I don't go on social media, on different platforms, doing interviews. As you can see, this is my first interview that I did in so long. Because you hoes got to pay me, bitch. But I don't do all that. And I felt like um, a person can apologize publicly over the internet and things like that. But... Why not apologize to me face to face? Why not call me? You hoes got my number, and I just wasn't. I wasn't with it. Mm -hmm. I wasn't ready to be in the midst of that person at that time. That's why I respectfully declined. So yes, y'all. So what eventually became in the mix with Twix was chasing Atlanta the getaway. I just saw the paperwork the other day. It was supposed to be chasing Atlanta the getaway, um, which was supposed to be myself reunited with q and laura the power of three but then we were inviting friends who had previously been on chasing atlanta that we had some type of run in with or issues with so people can finally see a lot of these behind the scenes makeups we've had on camera i didn't know that um i didn't know that you and gardini was still in in like some sort of disagreement until i started talking to both of y'all and yeah. i was like okay well he's coming he's coming Oh, uh, but you had said yes, and you were actually going to come. I was. You were going to come until Gardini, and Gardini ended up not coming. Yeah. Unfortunately. Because I, I could have been there. If you would have just, you would have told me he wasn't coming, bitch, I would have been like, okay, well, bitch, I'm about to buy a ticket today. But, yeah, I'm just, I'm really big on just respect regardless. I can give a fuck about any social media, anything. Like, if I fuck with you, I fuck with you. You got my number. Just call me up. And if there's a disagreement, let's talk about it. No disrespect, fans, but it don't have nothing to do with y'all. So, therefore, I don't, I'd rather us have this conversation face-to-face. -face. That's why I say I don't want to do a virtually thing. Mm -hmm. I want to sit face-to-face -face with you. Right, right. You know? And Gardini, Gardini owes a lot of people apologies. He does. And I'm just waiting for my apology. I don't give a fuck. You can go in tom and jerry platform bitch call me up and we can talk about it and then just let me know that you apologize because i never disrespected gardini in any way you know mm. but but you open to having that 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 talk that conversation mm -hmm. yeah he can call me i love that yeah i just want him to understand it i know he understand what role he played in because it wasn't me you don't owe me an apology you owe your best friend an apology because y'all were best friends for 15 to 20 years Mm. But I still want to apologize to him. Chasing <laughs> girl. No, I love it. The web reality game has grown, right? It has. What is your reaction to seeing a genre that you helped jumpstart grow to this 
magnitude. It's exciting. It's exciting to watch. Um, it's exciting to see um the new people come in, embrace me, and things like that. Like um, when y'all was shooting, what was his last season? Season six mm -hmm. that y'all did. I think y'all did um a fashion show, not a fashion show, but it was um they had the what they call it. Jeez, I'm I be trying to remember this gay stuff. <laughs> <laughs> What they call the ballroom. Mm -hmm. There we go, the ballroom. Um, one of my friends was walking in the ballroom. Mm -hmm. Um, he was the um, one of my friends at a part of the play that we did. Mm -hmm. Um, his name is Vinci, and Chase and Elena was there, um, videotaping. Mm -hmm. You didn't come. Mm -mm. I didn't see you. Mm -mm. But Willa was there. Um, Jay Twan, all of them was there. Um, what's the other person name? The other designer. The other designer that was going back and forth with camera on the other oh um jay amore jay amore mm -hmm. jay amore is there and they showed me so much love oh love that respect. love that it was just like love and respect mm -hmm. you get what i'm saying and i i fuck with that i love I that. really do fuck with that so it has gotten to a picture where the where it's like everybody is being respected everybody mm -hmm. you know they fought with me and i fought with them like, like it was never love oh i want to get a little messy okay so <laughs> Devon is the original fan favorite of the show, mm -hmm. right? Seasons one and two, where you reign supreme. I want to ask two questions. Who do you feel like became the next fan favorite or like got in your position that you once held? And how do you feel about the show seasons three, four, five, and six on after after you left, after you were no longer there? Um, and you can be, be honest. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I feel like... <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. Um, T.S. Kendra. Okay. Yeah. T.S. Kendra became like this. She, she, she became me. That bitch mm -hmm. came in ready to be. Uh -huh. And I love her. I love T.S. Kendra. I love Kendra. Kendra. We did. I would agree. We did a record. I would agree. We did a record called Pop Off. Mm -hmm. That was a disc record. Um, to who? It was mm, the people who I was talking about. I did include you in it. Oh, you dissed me in a song. I did. I did. For real, what you say? Um, cause you had the little, the little gray part right here. Yes. So you, you know, you get give us, it gives skunk. Uh huh. And like that. Uh huh. What did you say? What's the line? Hold I want to laugh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Just tell me. Hold on. Oh my god. Now I gotta try to remember. <laughs> um. Hey, yo, bro, is that your bitch right there? And oh, hold on, Jesus. Hey, yo, bro, is that your bitch right there? I better take it from you, homie. I'm the king of the year. Young bro, your big dick, so you best we wear. Have your big face down, take your dick in the air. Okay, she like it, no, like it, boy. No, 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 because it was the beginning of it when she, I had said, What's up, LaKendra? And she was like, Yo, I like this for all those bitches who got something to say when we're not around. And I was like, it's For you yellow skank, skunk ass. <laughs> <laughs> I said, For you yellow skank, skunk ass, hoes. Skunk. Because you know, all of it had a little gray thing. It ain't gray right now, but back no, in the day, it is, but you, you had it more grayer. Back in the day. But bitch, don't take it out. I ain't gonna be gonna call it out. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Come on, Pepe Lapeel. Come on, Pepe Lapeel. Right, right. Was, exactly. But it was a that was a disc record towards you and she had this rent um Diss Lauren. Oh, I got you. Yeah. It's called Pop Off. And y'all don't know y'all can go to my YouTube channel, Young Royal, featuring T S Kendra, Pop Off. That song is amazing. Oh, you love, oh,